Okay, so we got our steady cam up here. We're on the top of the unit. Okay, we got our riser cable that's here. We're gonna tilt this on its side and we're gonna start to build in this. Okay, so we're gonna start to take apart this case now. Uh, we're gonna go into the side here. We're gonna have to remove this riser cable here. So we're gonna remove this. Actually, I should probably use my extension here. All right, so we're gonna move this out the way so that we can install our motherboard. I kind of wanna just remove the whole thing, but uh, you know what, we'll just leave it in place. We are using an Asus Tough X670E Plus Wi-Fi. Uh, it's a pretty good board. It's an affordable AM5 board. Uh, it's one of the cheaper, if not one of the cheapest X670E boards that you can get. You get PCIe Gen 5 on the lane, it's dedicated. You get a PCI 5.0 M.2 NVMe drive. You get, I believe, two more uh, Gen 4 drives, and then you get another drive on the bottom that shares it with the bottom PCIe slot if it's populated. Of course, you got four DIMM slots, and this is the new layout that you have. They have the pins on the board instead of the CPU this time. It's similar to what Intel does with their processors. So we're gonna be building this in uh, with a 7900, uh, let me get this out here. We are going with a 7900X, okay? That's gonna go in the build. We're gonna be putting some RAM. Where the heck is my RAM? We're going with 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM at 6,000 with pretty good cache latencies. I believe it's 32. So this is a good stick of RAM to run in the system. Of course, we're gonna be putting an RTX 4090 in this, uh, 850 watt power supply. At the top, we're gonna be putting an AIO, a 360 milliliter one. It's going to be the Corsair one. Now, I bought the kit separately. Um, I bought the AIO separately, and I'm gonna upgrade to the LCD kit. So this is the back that we have here. We have a fan in here that blows air up into the GPU. And of course we got all the wires here and we got all of our screws and all of our accessories to build in this PC. So I'm pretty excited to build in this. It's my first time building in a height. So it should be very interesting. All right, so let's see what's in here. Should be just our basic screws and our ribbon ties. Not to make a mess okay here's our motherboard there we go uh, let's see if we can get this to zoom in here uh, there we go it's already pre-arranged the screw arrangements all of our screws are already in so we don't got to add any more screws and now we just got to screw this in
I have to say overall, I am really happy on how this build turned out. I've always wanted to build in the Hyatt, but unfortunately for me, the Hyatt Y60, it doesn't accommodate three slot cards. You're going to be pressed up against the glass and your GPU is going to be starved for air. So when the Y40 was announced, I was extremely excited to get this case. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I did pay a little bit more than I wanted to to get this case into Canada a little bit before its release. But overall, I have to say it was worth it. Now, first of all, I got to say AM5, the upgrade, it was significant for me. Now, I didn't really think it was going to make that much of a difference, but everything on the system is just snappier. It's just faster. It just runs better. You can actually perceive the uh, difference coming over to this platform. I just noticed everything boots up a lot quicker. Now, during this whole process, I actually updated to Windows 11 as well. So I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on my upgrade from Windows 10 to 11, as well as the AM5 platform. Now, now first, I gotta go through some of the benchmarks here. Now, I did see a good uptick in performance going from AM4 to AM5, even at 4 K and I was running a 5800 X3D and that CPU is no slouch. Another thing that I liked about this platform, I should say the motherboard, I got the Asus X670E and this motherboard has AI overclocking. When I actually put the AI overclocking on, I got much better performance. Now it basically looks at all the metrics of your PC. It sees how high your cores are actually boosting on your CPU and the AI just goes ahead and does its thing and I have to say it is quite remarkable like I said I received a huge uptick in performance now I've kind of enhanced some of those clocks I went in there and changed some other things and I just have to say I'm getting really good performance as you can see in cyberpunk I got an uptick in performance in call of duty I got an uptick in performance in fact on 3d mark I have a number one score in fact I have a host of number one scores in certain categories with my GPU which is an RTX 4090 paired with the 7900x so overall it's a huge improvement in performance now something I did going along the way as I said is I upgraded to Windows 11 Windows 11 also gave me further improvements now look at this score here for Forza Horizon 5 now this is my score on the 5800 X 3d this is my score on the 7900 X paired with the 4090 on the new AM5 platform and look at the increase in performance I got when I switched over to Windows 11 now I was on the fence of upgrading to Windows 11 because because at the start there was a lot of things in this operating system that just weren't right it wasn't running with all programs and they got rid of certain features such as the start menu now all of these things have been fixed and I'm happy to say that it is safe now to upgrade to Windows 11 you get better gaming performance you get auto HDR in your games it's just a good experience overall and I haven't experienced any type of hitches on any of my programs now overall I have to say it was a delight building Building in this Hyatt Y40. I definitely recommend it. It is a premium machine. My only cons I would say is that underneath the PC there's not a lot of room for routing in there. It kind of gets a little bit hairy because there's a fan in there. Now you do have the option to remove that fan but I wanted to keep the fan in place just to get my thermals down. Now speaking of thermals I was really worried that I would get worse thermals in this case than I was getting in my Lian Li Evo. I I have to say that my GPU is pretty much around the same, if not cooler at some times. I don't know if it's the optimizations that I'm getting from the AM5 platform, but I'm not getting a lot of heat in this system. In fact, my CPU doesn't go over 80 Celsius under load. Now I have gone into the settings and I have undervolted it. And like I said, I am using ASUS's AI overclocker. Nonetheless, I'm getting great temperatures in this case. So if you're worried about the temperatures, you're gonna have fantastic temps in this case, providing that of course you use the proper fans that are needed in a system like this. So overall, I have to say this is a 10 out of 10 for me an awesome machine to build in the am5 platform i think it's safe to upgrade to it now as well as windows 11 am5 a lot of the prices are coming down on the motherboards the cpus are on sale in fact that's why i actually upgraded because of the great discounts they had on some of the 7000 cpus overall just a great experience i want to know what you guys think about it what do you think about my build do you think i have too much rgb in it do you think i could have done other things differently let me know in the comment section down 
down below also let me know if you plan on upgrading to am5 in the future so like i usually say please like share and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys on the next one